Every day, nearly one million tons of plastic is created. The current and only process of mechanical recycling is failing. There's all kinds of plastic streams. We know we can't sort. But there's an enormous amount of pressure on the industry as a whole to come up with real solutions. One of these solutions may be in Silicon Valley. We're going to be producing useful chemicals from our plastic waste in the future. We will solve this problem. As recycling exists today, sorting the material is the first step. So we receive this mixture material and it goes through a whole series of processing steps that include magnets, shredders, optical sorters, and so forth, each of which is designed to segregate material. We call this film plastic, what most people would think of as plastic bags. Nobody has the ability to take this, so this will go to a landfill. These bales go to another facility to be chopped and washed. If the plastic is clear and clean, it can be paired with virgin material for new products. If it's not, it gets downgraded into plastic that goes into the trash. Endless recycling of plastic has never existed, but that could soon change. The biggest problem is mechanical recycling is not very effective. It's a lot harder than most people think. Inside this IBM research facility, Bob Allen and his team invented a way to chemically remove plastic from highly contaminated waste streams, an impossible task for our current mechanical method. Their process starts with a catalyst to break down the plastic. Then they cook it at a high temperature, like a pressure cooker. In the reactor, it only goes after the PET molecules, grabs them, and chews them up, like Pac-Man, just chews them up. The contaminants are then filtered out through a proprietary purification process. It cools and solidifies. The powder is then converted into what IBM sees as plastic gold. This is real live PET. Plastic ready for manufacturing. IBM's research is complete, but the process is too expensive. Allen and his team are consulting with major plastics manufacturers in cities around the world to make their research into a reality. I'm willing to bet money in five to ten years, waste plastic will be seen as a renewable resource. But IBM isn't the only blue chip company betting on chemical recycling. Chevron and Procter & Gamble are working on alternative solutions for other plastics. And scientists at Loop Industries are testing a recycling process for some major bottle manufacturers. 